Toledo and Ohio. That's right, the MAC championship game, Toledo, a one-and-a-half point favorite. Total sits at 55. This one is on Saturday. This is our first Saturday game here, 12 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. And, hey, let's go on and bring it up. Uh, We got two quarterbacks that are out here, so I don't even know what these numbers are going to be worth. Uh, If you just look based on the last five weeks, Ohio would actually be favored. Uh, We don't know if Daquan Finn is going to play for Toledo. We don't, uh, how about this? We do know that Curtis Rourke is not going to play. They announced that he is out for the season. So if he were to come back, I mean, that would just be absolutely ridiculous. But either way, uh, you look at strength of record, you look at PPA margin, you look at uh, offensive and defensive success rate, everything. It just kind of points towards Ohio here. But you look at Toledo's defensive success rate allowed. You look at their uh, defensive PPA per drive. Uh, Number eight in PPA per drive on defense is Toledo. Number one in defensive success rate allowed. Uh, Ohio could have some problems, right? And, And the backup quarterback did really good things other than the fact that when they were playing against Bowling Green, they had the least yards per play that they've had in any game since the Ohio, excuse me, the Iowa State game earlier this year. Like their yards per play were not great in that spot, but uh, the thing that does maybe make you feel pretty good is the fact that uh, this, you know, this Toledo offense is not great. Uh, especially running the football, Ohio is not going to let them do anything running the ball. Ohio's number five PPA per rush. They are number uh, number one in rushing success rate allowed, number eight in offensive line yards allowed, and then you look uh, as far as passing the ball, uh, they're number 62 in PPA per pass, well Toledo is number 74, but Toledo was only number 116 in passing success rate on offense. Like, Havoc rate allowed, Ohio's defense can get after the quarterback, they're number 14 in Havoc rate, and Toledo number 103 in Havoc rate allowed. And so, it's something to pay attention to with that, uh, because that offensive line just does not appear to be able to block. And if Ohio can send some of those rushers Uh, get some pass pressures, this could be a long day for Toledo. Toledo has more talent. Like, they just do. Uh, They're number 67 in college, or excuse me, CFB winning edges uh, team strength metric. Ohio is number 88. Like, Toledo should win the game, even with their quarterback out. But, man, they have not played well. I'm I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here. Um, I don't know how much success either team is going to have. Uh, I do kind of like the under 55 here, and which is strange because that, that number's been sitting there all week long. Uh, it opened at like 60 and a half. It's been bet down to 55, and then it just sat there. It's like nobody wanted to get past that key number, and I can understand it. I would still probably lean the under here because I don't see either offense having a lot of success. Uh, if that's going to be the case... If neither offense is going to have a ton of success, give me Ohio. Like, give me the Bobcats to be able to get this thing done, even without Rourke. A really good success story. Ohio, I mean, it's been forever since they won a MAC title. Uh, never got one under Frank Solich. Uh, this would be great for Tim Alvin. I mean, absolutely fantastic for them. And uh, I think this would be awesome for them to. And now, I'll tell you who really needs it, though, is Toledo. Like, they need it. But I, I still believe in Ohio more than I do Toledo because this Toledo team has just not shown up when they really, really needed to. And ugh, if I'm going to trust anybody here, it's probably going to be Ohio. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.